SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. This short video of last week's crash was released today. After its successful launch, it was supposed to have landed safely on this barge. The video's caption sums it up. Close, but no cigar. It went into radio silence and was never heard from again. Now, it's been found. Let's bring in National Science Correspondent Bob McDonald. So, Time for a little flashback here, Bob. Back in 2003, when they set this up, you and I were talking about missions to Mars. Here's a bit of that. Okay. Here to talk about them is the national science correspondent, Bob McDonald. It's very, very difficult to go there. You have to travel for seven months in the cold vacuum of space. And then on the way down, they're traveling at 20,000 kilometers an hour when they hit the atmosphere. They have to put up with all that heat and pressure. And if anything goes wrong, the whole mission can fail. <laughs> I still have that jacket. You have the red shirt. So I bet you do. <laughs> I got a blue shirt tonight. Nothing's changed, Wendy. Well, and it did fail. It did. But now they found it. How did they find it? Well, he found it with an American probe called the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has a super high-resolution camera on it. And if we look at the footage, it doesn't look like much. You just see three white dots on the red surface of Mars. One of them is the spacecraft, one of them is its parachute, and one of them is a piece of the heat shield that brought it down. But what they can see is that it landed exactly on target, and they can see its shape. Now, Beagle was designed to open like a flower with five petals, and it turns out that only three of them opened. And unfortunately, the one that did not open had the antenna on it that allows it to communicate with the Earth. So what this means is that it did everything it was supposed to do, it landed properly, it probably even did its science, it just couldn't tell us about it. So at least the scientists know they got most of it right. There was probably some dumb little thing that went wrong just at the very last minute. And it shows that going to Mars is not as easy as it looks. Thanks so much, Bob. It was uh, quite an experience. So glad they found it. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> okay, Wendy. Bye-bye. And if it sounds like you've heard this before, you have. In 2010 and before that, in 2005. In fact, the top 10 warmest years on record are all since 1998. Scientists say that is a powerful indication of climate change. One year can't tell you much, but compare them all and you have an Earth almost a degree hotter than the 20th century average. But if last year set a new record, why did parts of the U.S. and Canada feel a bitter chill? A weather anomaly, say scientists, caused by a jet stream that pulled Arctic air south. Ernest